All right, Shalom. Let me give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Kapadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to you, since you're active out there, pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. I uh, just want to jump in. Quick hit on the confusion of faces topic. All right, because it was once. Uh, it was once used, you know, to describe Israelite foreigners who might look like another nation. But, you know, we know, of, of course, since the apostles and the elders have updated that, you know, through the spirit, that that's that's something that's been updated. And uh, just want to make sure, you know, if somebody looks that subject up, you know, that they'll have uh, clarity on what it is. All right, versus maybe, you know, an old video or something that's still floating out there, you know, which... Lord willing, if you do have something, you know, with, with that title, you know, you should try to change the title or maybe put a disclaimer in the comments or something. You know, it's all up to the spirit. Right, but we know that uh, for, for an Israelite, you know, who looks like another nation, we refer to them now as a, as a speckled bird. Okay, the scriptures say my heritage is as a, as a speckled bird. All right. So that's that's what that's what that's talking about. You want you know more information on that? Look up, you know, Google or, or YouTube search GMS speckled bird. You know, you have, then you have different examples. You know, brothers have done videos on. All right, but this is Ezra nine and seven. Just a topic to tackle of what is to, to tackle the topic. What is confusion of face? All right, which basically is shame. It's shame. It says. Uh, since the days of our fathers, have we been in a great trespass unto this day? And for our iniquities have we, our kings and our priests, been delivered into the hand of the kings of the lands, to the sword, to captivity, and to a spoil, and to confusion of face, as it is this day. And it's talking about that confusion. I mean, I mean that shame. So like it. All right, because here we are in captivity in Babylon. All right, so, you know, somebody coming from another nation, they might be shameful because they don't, you know, look like, you know, the rest of Israel. But shit, we, we shame too because the Lord, you know, has us in uh, punishment under the heathens. Right, especially here in, 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 uh, in Babylon, in, in, in America. All right, we're we looking real, real bad here. All right, this is... Uh, Psalm 44 and 15, my confusion is continually before me, and the shame of my face have covered me. There you go. So that's the best kind of the breakdown right there in a the nutshell. My confusion is continually before me, and the shame of my face hath covered me. I had the shame. <laughs> the confusion of face, the shame. All right, this is uh Acts 2 and 5. All right, it says. In fact, verse 3, there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and they sat upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. All right, so you have, you have Israelites, you know, come out of all these different other nations, and you better believe some of them probably did resembled other nations because if you go into another nation which that's that's what they were at they were at uh, they were at Pentecost and uh, you're supposed to come back to Israel you know if you're in another place at least three times a year you know if not more you know but uh, you you had a lot of our people who they might have been carried away as a captive or maybe they did you know just get rebellious and leave uh, whatever you know, my situation might have happened. Uh, the, the scriptures talk about you know so many times how we go after heathen gods and begin to follow them. All right, so you've always had that. Shit, you, that's what's going on now. We're here in you know Babylon, a land of complete confusion, Babalia. All right, but so it's not difficult to understand. You know, you're gonna have people who look like the other nations or have distinct features of the other nations, but they're Israel. I mean, you can see it through, you know, uh, 
whatever they do, man, you, you, you can see their spirit, right? And, you know, you look at, like, the NBA is full of uh, Speckleboro Israelites, right? You got some who, you know, you can tell that Jake, Blake, Blake Griffin, you know, he you can tell he's Jake. Yeah, he got some he got some white boy features, but you can you can pretty much tell, you know, yeah, this guy's Jake. All right. But you got uh Israelites from other places, Ben Simmons, um what's this guy, Giannis, the Greek freak. <laughs> There's that Greek again, the Greek freak. All right, which again you can tell he's an Israelite. But then you got guys like Luka Doncic, which he looks you know, he looked like a white boy. But you can tell from his game, you can tell, you know, from his swagger, he's Israelite. All right, he's Jake. So you you always you know, you and, and you're gonna have I don't know, I don't wanna put a number on it, but you're gonna have a lot of Israelites who have resemblance of another nation, but they're Israel. And that's part of it, man. That's the that's the way the Lord created it. All right, and just to close out, this is uh Isaiah 45 and 1. This is Isaiah 45 and 15. It said, Verily thou art a power that hidest thyself, O power of Yahweh of Israel, the Savior. They shall be ashamed and shall go confounded, all of them. They shall go to confusion together that are makers of idols. But Israel shall be saved in the, the Lord with an everlasting salvation, ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. There you go. So, hey, at the end of the day, man, the Lord hides certain things from certain people. Okay, even the prophets. You have certain prophets who they understand one thing, but they might not receive the understanding on another. All right, so it's you know it's a beautiful thing that the Lord has blessed us with the understanding of of the the fullness of the scriptures. Because you still have a lot of Israelites or not who, you know, they, they just, they just, <laughs> they can't follow. They can't keep up. They don't understand that. Even though you can clearly see examples of it, you know, in, in everyday life. All right. So, Lord willing, this is edifying. You know, if, if you're just coming uh, for the first time hearing about, you know, the, the, the doctrine, you know, continue to watch the videos. Like I said, you can. YouTube search GMS and then whatever the topic is for your video, try to find out more information. All praises to Yahweh Bashi Mabushah.